In this video, traders, we're going to look at synthetic long stocks, split strikes. Stay tuned. Hey, traders, a warm welcome to you. So, in the options market, you can create a synthetic long position on a stock by using options. And if you do that both at the money, then you are creating a really linear synthetic long. However, if you use split strikes, you are changing the dynamic slightly. You are effectively being less aggressive and you are protecting yourself from a small amount of downside and you are reducing the loss, but on the flip side, you're reducing your profits. You're dampening down things a bit. And that might be something that you want to consider depending on your thesis of where you think the stock might go. So let's look at an example. Let's see what would happen if we did something in this example. So to create this split strike, we're buying one at the money call and we're selling one, sorry, one out of the money call and we're selling one out of the money put. That's a difference between the synthetic long or the split strike and not. So EG, XYZ is currently trading at 40 bucks. That could be a stock, it could be a commodity index, whatever. Let's assume it's a stock for this example. Um, what would we do? So we first of all, we're gonna sell this out of the money put, which is $35 uh, for $400. So we get, we receive $100 back. Now don't forget, that would be trading at $1, but we're buying, or sorry, we're selling in this example, one contract and 100 shares is one contract in the options market. So we're receiving $100 back for that. But we also need to put on the call side of the spread. And this is an out of the money call. We're trading at $40. Anything to find out of the money is anything that's away from the price. If a call option would be above the price, put option below the price. Buying at $45 and it's costing us $50 to do that. So we have to pay $50 to buy the right to buy that XYZ stock at $45 at a specific expiry in the future, whatever that may be, it doesn't actually matter for this example, just a specific point in time. So we're getting a net credit of this of $50. You can see why this becomes interesting. Okay, so a net credit means that if the price stays the same, we receive that uh, as profit effectively. And let's have a look and see what would happen with different scenarios. So, and then we'll look at them on this graph as well. So this is the stock price at expiry. Let's have a look what happens if we were 45 bucks at expiry. Well, if we're $45 at expiry, our call option uh, is worthless, right? Because we've got a 45 call, the right to buy something at 45 that's at 45 has no value. What about a 35 put? The right to sell something at 35 that's at 45 has no value too. So effectively, we get nothing for that. We've received $50 for that, so we get $50 back. We get our credit, we made $50 on the deal per contract. However, let's just look at the maths to make sure. So uh, that's worthless, that's worthless. We've made 100 there, it's cost us 50. We can see that it's 50, great, uh, no problem. Oh, so we say we've made 100, it's good, given out 50, we've had 50 back. You can see that works out fine. Okay, what happens with the 60? So the stock rallies to $60, we're right, we're correct. How has this synthetic long stock with a split strike position worked in our favor? Well, let's have a look. So the call option is the one that's gonna be worth the most, right? Because we've bought this $45, of calls right to 60 that's going to have 15 dollars worth of value great you whoopee do um which is 100 or oh, so 1500 dollars worth of value because 15 dollars times by that 100 shares 1500 dollars worth of value is the value of that contract that expiry because we've got the right to buy something at 45 that's currently at 60. what about the put well the put option is worthless um, because uh, we've gone up and the value of the put right to sell something that's actually higher than the current price is no value at all. So uh, what do we do the other way around? Should I say the right to sell something that is currently at a higher price than the right you've got to sell it out for, sell it for is no value at all. Okay, so that's worthless. Let's have a look. So $1,500, uh, however, we paid or received $50 for the actual deal as well, don't forget. So it's $1,550. Let's just check our maths on that as well. Uh, we sold the $35 put for 100 to get 100 back on that. And we bought the 45 call for 50. So it's 1450, 1450 plus 100 is 1550. Yes, correct. Okay, but what would happen if we were long the stock? This number here is what would happen if we were along the stock. If we're along the stock at $40, 100 shares of stock, which is the same as one contract, $20 move is 2,000. So you can see we've given a bit of profit for this ability to still make something when the stock price does nothing. And we'll see in a minute what happens to the downside as well. So we've not made as much as we would if we were along stock, but let's have a look and see the advantage that we get 
by having the synthetic long stop position with a split strike if it goes against us, i.e. goes down to 20 bucks at expiry. So 20 bucks at expiry, what's the call worth? The call is worthless. It's the right to buy something at 45 that's currently 20. Zip is the value for that one, guys. Put, the put is gonna have lots of value, right? Because it's only at $20 and we've got a $35 put. So we've got $15 worth of value times by the 100 shares, $1,500. Okay, unfortunately, we'd sold that one, so we're the ones on the hook for that 1500 bucks. Um, but with even this minus 1500, we actually received a 50 dollar credit, so the loss is 1450. If we wanted to do the maths on that, we can see uh, the hundred dollars there. We sold that put, it's suddenly worth 1500, so it's 1400 net loss. Um, but of course, we've also lost on the call as well, so. 1450 net loss. What would happen if we were long the stock? However, this is where it gets interesting. If we're long the 100 shares of stock at our initial price, which was $40, it goes down to $20, we're gonna lose $20, aren't we? And $20 loss on 100 shares is 2,000 bucks. So you can see we're way better off by creating this to the downside if we're losing than we are if we'd held the long stock. So that's a commercial decision for you to make as a trader. You're like, okay, well, if I think the stock's going to, it could sit and do nothing. And I don't really want to lose money if it goes down by a few bucks. I don't really want to lose money if it goes down by kind of three or four bucks. Uh, I want to still be okay. So I'll create this position. And I don't really want to be protected a little bit more from the downside as well in case it does just go crazy. So I'll do this. I don't mind dampening my upside. So you can see you kind of reduce your upside and your downside and you shift the whole profit and loss uh, spectrum as opposed to it being just a linear line like this, which would just be, you know, almost like this, much more, much steeper and going through zero at 40. You've created a synthetic long stock split strike position. It gives you a bit more flexibility in the way that you're making money or not, as the case may be. Anyway, guys, that's the synthetic long stock split strike. Take care, whatever you're trading. See you next one. Goodbye.